Last time we left off, we had to plant um, beacons, beacons, radio signal, tower, majigs, around the island at three locations, and we just did one, and it resulted in some weird time dilation that I may or may not be speaking with my son from the future, and I still have two more locations to go. I'm hoping the auto save, the, the auto, the auto save... I'm hoping that still is working. Everything is good. And uh, we will continue the adventure. Yeah, it looks like we're good. It looks like the autosave is... Autosaving? Let's get back on the trail. Head to the next spot. Okay, and there's nothing... Crazy. Oh, okay. No more of that, huh? No. Evelyn, anyone? Talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, and you can't make me. So, there. Uh, talk about what? Brandon is a jerk, and I'm not sorry I told him so. And I said I was sorry for pushing him, but I'm not sorry about the rest. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. Do we okay? already see this bit? I don't want to. Um. Okay. No talking then for the rest of the night. Be able to get burgers later, though. Ah, I guess I'll just make a salad instead. I don't want a salad. I told Brandon I was sorry. I told Mr. Severson I was sorry. And I am sorry. I mean, he wouldn't stop making fun of my hair. But still, I just get mad, and it's like, it's like a sneeze. My hand still really hurts real bad. Yeah, sorry to break it, kiddo, but you really can't just punch every problem. There's laws and things to prevent that. I know. I know. I hate getting angry. I hate the feeling. I hate not being able to turn it off. Mm. It sucks. Look, it's... You're gonna get mad sometimes. That's the... That's the thing of it. And... I think the best thing you can do is just, you know, try not to stay mad for too long. Here, it's a penny. A penny? What for? Uh, so, pretend you're like electricity. People who work with electricity put, um, put copper in the ground, just in case there's too much of it so it has some place to go. So next time you're mad, just pretend you're electricity, and that penny is your someplace else. Then he chucks it. Right. Hey, what are you doing? We both know that's not gonna work. No, I don't want to do... Uh... 
Sorry, I, I was just back in fifth grade, yelling at a teacher. Oh, God. These things are really giving me a headache. Weird. God, this is, this is too weird. Mm, seconded. Hey, uh, you okay? I am, uh, processing. Best I got for you. Figured I would pick some different options there since we've seen that scene before. Might as well see other outcomes. Roughly the same, though. It's still, like... I'm starting to think that our helper... Uh, bear with me here. The person helping us through all of this is going to be her son from the future who learned the valuable lesson. Oh, it's the wrong thing. Is this the map? That's the map. Okay. So we're here. We put that there. And the next stop is probably going to be headed back down here. And then over to here. Over to the uh, Tutega Falls. Um, we've cleared, as far as I can tell, we've cleared all of Charity Point and the Waterhead Bluffs of um, stuff to read. And um, I guess down here as well. I don't know if we can get to the lighthouse, but we've done kind of all of Camber Cape. So we the middle. We've done the middle. We need to get across the, the water over at Jacob's place is, is basically it. Although we could cross here. hat is the 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 bill is pushing down my glasses and I'm like ah! All right. Good night. <laughs> no? Oh, there we go. Yeah, th this is going to sound but I I keep having flashes of high school passing you in the hall. Between third and fourth period, that's when I'd see you during the day. Everyone else always looked in a hurry, but you definitely weren't. <laughs> we ran in different circles, I think. And it's just weird, I guess, doing this together. It's, it's weird how things go. I never think about school, or I try not to anyway. It's hard for me to sit still for very long. Oh man, me? I love sitting still. It's like my favorite thing in the world. If I don't have to move my body at all, that's a great day right there. Can I ask? There were like six kids who didn't get a yearbook photo. And I was always like, wouldn't want to get their yearbook picture taken. It's senior year. Because I'm at heart a dictionary salesman. But can I just ask, did you just not want to? If it's like personal, then forget to ask. I just always wondered about the kids who didn't. My uh, mom left when I was a baby. She just couldn't handle it, my dad says. And sometimes I'd see people who look like her, from pictures my dad had, you know? And on the day they took yearbook photos, I saw her sitting in a car outside the school. It probably wasn't her. I mean, of course it wasn't her, but I just didn't go in. Bummed around with some older friends, saw a movie instead. Oof, sorry. That's, that's hard. I'll see her in reflections and passing windows and stuff still. I try to get over it, you know, but some things make it hard sometimes. Can I tell you, in my yearbook, <laughs> well, my photo is in there under my name. And I think I'm there under a few other things. My uh, actual, under the class clown thing where I was nominated for, I'm not even in the photo. I didn't show up, which I think makes it funnier, but I just forgot. I went out to lunch with my friends and it was the photo was scheduled with the girl who was picked as class clown. We were going to do a thing together. I, I forgot. I just went out and totally forgot. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I need to make a phone call. Oh. Uh, 
Evelyn, you there? I planted the first transmitter. Great, awesome. The numbers are coming back. It looks so weird. Like, the frequencies look like they're decaying, but also, huh. It appears to be breaking a lot of rules Doppler established 200 years ago. How are things looking? Does it feel weird out there? Over. It's crazy. Oh, it's pretty nuts out here, Evelyn. If I were you, I'd stay inside. Hunker down. Over. Yeah, I... No, I should. I'm sorry, my mind's... I'm waiting on a call from my sister. We were supposed to get dinner, because she lives in Kamina, and... I haven't actually heard from her in a while. Sorry. I'm just thinking about that. If I sound distracted. Ah, oh, that sucks. But just focus on your sister, Evelyn. Don't worry about this stuff for a minute. Over. Thanks. I wish I could. I'm just hoping everything's okay and her phone is just dead. All right. Sorry about all this. Thanks for the call. Hit me up when you plant the next one. Over and out. By the way, speaking of Kamina, for those wondering, look at the hat. I've got a theme stream going on. Boop. Okay. Let's do this thing. Climb my anchor. We can put a rope to it. Fantastic. So that leads, the rope leads down, and I guess we can go down and up and over, because we got to get back to Waterhead Bluffs. And I don't think I can jump this. Yeah, that's not happening. So we're back here. Might as well be a good time to check and see. Anyone? Hello? like they're starting to move around hmm, better keep that know. in mind depending on where we're going next yeah okay good to know these damn kids is it directly past here it 100% is What? It doesn't the doesn't the light seem weird? Riley. What? Jacob? Where are you? Hey, Olive Branch. Are your shoes tied? Oh no. They're tied. Tied? It's tied. 
Hey, it's because I need you to pay attention. It's tied! Show me. Hang on, look. See? Is that her parents? Her dead parents? Okay. Olivia? Oh, wait, I... Why do I sound weird? The worst thing you can do to someone is waste their time. And killing someone's basically wasting all their time at once. It was a spider. I didn't know it was in the drain. And now, that spider that lived in our drain is no longer with us, is it? Animals wax and wane too, you know. Planet Shine isn't just for members of parentage. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? So, you can have a sip of coffee later, but not the whole mug like last time. Oh, come on! Well, maybe two sips. Olivia! And do you hey. understand why? I just want her to learn- And she will learn. Now, what do you want to do today? I want to do everything! No! No! You! How did you get in here? You have no right to be here with them! What? Who was that? Oops. I just... I don't know what's going on. Why I can't keep it together. This is the right night. It has to be. They wouldn't have... Wouldn't have told me if it wasn't. I will get to Planet Shine. I will get to Planet Shine. Riley? Uh, Riley, uh, are you okay? You kind of zoned out. How are you holding up? I lost you for a second. I saw Olivia with two older people. I don't know. I think she was trying to do something in the, uh, the time stream. I am not sure. Trying to do what? What did you see? Her parents, Another I think. time jump thing? Or something else? I think she was with our parents, maybe? They were talking about planet shine, that thing she says. I don't know, she seemed sad, desperate a little. Mm. Come on, we still have two more transmitters to place. Let's figure out where to go next. I mean, that's why she's working with the other entities, I guess? Because she's trying to get her parents back or at least get to her parents, like that's her whole Shtick, I guess. That's why she's got the other kids. At least that's what I can piece together. We'll just take the short path down to the beach, and then it's, uh, just across the way. Should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. I think um, we're close to the ranger station, too. Yeah, I uh, got it. She said that in a way that I was not expecting her to. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. Okay, look. Ooh, uh oh Okay. You, uh, you're pretty good at this stuff, right? What? Like basic training oh. stuff. What stuff? Oh, you know, like general athletics, hiking, basic training stuff. Was this like part of what you, uh, what, what you did in the military? This sort of thing? Was this like part of your training? No, nah, my dad says it. Ever since I was born, I was moving around like I had some place to be. I couldn't sit still. He'd turn and I'd be out the window. Yeah, I wasn't like that, but I still like to think of myself as a mildly capable, uh, you know, guy. I can't skateboard or ski or lift anything above my head, but I can tie a sheet bed, if pressed. Oop. Well, I didn't say anything. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I guess it's better not to be like, you're whatever. Like, I guess you could climb or something. You're not that great. Sometimes when we say nothing is the right answer. Uh oh, 
what is this? Oh, no, that's climbing back up. Okay. Thought I discovered the greatest secret ever. Oh, great. Another anchor for the rope. You getting the hang of it yet? I'm getting it off. Let's put it that way. <laughs> getting enough rope burns. Mm. Uh, hey, oh. you doing okay? You kidding? This is my... Uh, happy place. <laughs> mm, okay, another one. We're not going that way. Although I want to go that way, and we will go that way. Because, according to the map... There's not much over there, really, except probably... Ooh, Horseshoe Beach. We'll go there. I wonder if I can go kind of over to the ranger station, then down th through the beach, which I think is the way I have to go. Then up and over, and then all the way up to the falls. I have a feeling there's going to be lots hey, of... that's Olivia's friend. Charlie. Hey, hey Charlie. Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Wait up. Jacob, wait. Let's stick together. He has something. There was the other way, the other direction entirely. Jacob, you goober. You're ruining my plan. Are you. Wait. Ugh. Open the gate. Hey, you, lady. You and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us. Oh, or bad me? things are gonna happen. Seriously. Oh, will you just shut up, dude? Hey, wait, come on. We helped out your buddy Violet, okay? She was in trouble, and now she's not because of us. And now we need you to open the gate. Maybe we get you out of trouble too? Sound fair? Violet didn't need you, and neither do I. None of us need you. This is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are Don't doing- Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. What? Wait! And what? Gingerbread, come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you eat something? And go to hell also. God, you and your entire freak show crew. Don't think we don't know you're up to something. It's okay. We'll get them next time. There has to be another way. Oh, it's just mm, so annoying. What if we'd gotten here just two minutes earlier? I'm not going to say anything about your climbing speed, <sighs> but... Okay, okay, it's I'm fine. Although, what's the what's the down over here? We got like a whole down situation. Ah, all right. Well, we can go. There's probably a key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. I'm Ugh. aware. He's so young. They all are. It's crazy. Yeah, they're just brainwashed students. You just better hope and pray we don't run into him again. I don't see any glinting there. I know you want to go that way, but have you been this? Hey, Riley. Lights on over there? Over. Hey, Nick. Hey there, Nick. How are the waves? Over. Well, that's settled on different. I'm an amateur sailor, you know, but I read books. And if you're learning to sail, the first thing you'll read is, the ocean is never still. Never trust calm water. But tonight, that's all there is. It's still as a cup of water. Hmm. Never seen such a thing. That's good news, right? It'd be beautiful if it wasn't so unexpected. Oh, well, that's good, right? Still means safe, not choppy. Over. My life preserver is still gathering dust, it's true. But it just doesn't feel safe because it feels so wrong. Uh, common sense would have me steer back home. Go ahead and do that. I should see what's out there. Don't I'm do that. I need a tether, though, so if you don't mind, just reach out on the semi-regular. Make sure I haven't completely gone ass over tea kettle. 
Now I gotta. Alright, Riley. You keep an eye on the dirt. I'll keep one on the drink. Over and out. I gotta monitor him too. Mama Mia. Uh oh. Uh, hey, Evelyn. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Have you been experiencing something like? It's like I'm redoing the previous couple of minutes a few times. Like deja vu, but worse. Over. Hey, Riley. Uh, no. Not, not really. We've been experiencing a lot of technical hiccups, but not a lot of whatever you're describing. I assume you are, though. Or else you probably wouldn't be asking. Yeah, sometimes. But if you don't have any other information or anything, it's, uh, you know, I'll just deal with it. Over. Right. Okay, Riley. Ring me if you need anything. Okay, Sorry, Riley. I couldn't help you with this. Over and out. Let's go, Maria. I just met a DJ named Maria. Hey, uh, DJ person, are you around? Over. Hey, how's it going? Need some more advice? I got boatloads. No one uh. ever seems to want it, though. Over. So, uh, you mentioned. You know, a kid named uh, Charlie. Just what can you tell me about him that I might uh, want to know if I needed to know anything? Over. Charlie. Yeah. I know Charlie. He's cool. He is. He's a. Uh, he's into interior design, junior ice hockey. His sister is 13 years older than him, so he's kind of like an only kid. One of those delightful accidents. I think his parents only wanted one, and I think he kind of feels that. I don't know. I don't want to air his dirty laundry, you know? People's stink should stay with them. Over. Okay, do, do you know of any reason why he joined, like, the cult? Oh, are you talking about parentage? That thing is... That's Olivia's world. Charlie doesn't really believe in anything. Except that we'll all turn into outer space dust eventually. I mean, if his seventh grade English class poetry is to be believed. Oh, I think I gotta go. Mr. Thatcher, good to see you! Yeah, I still don't know who spray-painted nipples on the statue in the library. So school? There's still people at the school? Hold on, is there anything? Or does Mr. Thatcher just monitor her late night radio show? I guess she has to have supervision. Really? There was nothing over there? Not even like a shimmer of a letter? Uh, there's one down here. Did they? Hmm. I saw the green flash again. This time at sunset. If it wasn't bright, I would apologize, but you told me not to. So instead, I will try, try to show gratitude. Thank you for not hating me. Thank you for having the courage to point out what was clearly right in front of me. Thank you for tolerating the absolutely dreadful coffee I make every morning. Anna would want me to let go. Anna would be furious at me for this pitiful little cage I've built for myself. I can see her now, flustered and cursing and th thrusting, almost about to say thirsting, thrusting me into your arms. Best of luck with your life and your heart. Though you'd insist it's not needed, I hope someday you can forgive, uh, forgive mine. Why? Is it under this collectibles? Uh, so this last one is like the Kenneth Young one is is big time. All right, we have. Four left? Really? Only four? Hell yes, Jesse. I love the soundtrack of this game. I can't stress it enough.
We probably shouldn't be climbing this close. It's almost like I'm just grabbing your waist. That's not helpful at all. Map. So we've got... If I go this way, this doesn't connect? I see you glow. Oh, there's, I think that's a frog, right? Sorry. I don't know why I got so excited. <laughs> frogs can be exciting. Hey, frogs can be exciting, dude. They're frogs. They're freaking cool. Where was it? I actually think it was just a rock. Frogs are, frogs are the coolest. Now, toads, however. Oh, Ingrid. Olivia wasn't planned for. I wonder if she knows that. I've never been, nor will I ever be pregnant, so I can't say I understand Marigold's struggle, but I do sympathize. We plan our lives, and then things happen. You say parentage helped her and her husband accept the birth of Olivia. That they provided a structure for the chaos of early parenthood. But Olivia is a person, not a problem to be solved. How will this structure affect her own life? Interesting. I enjoy our talks, but I think we should not discuss parentage anymore. I admittedly struggle uh, when the topic is broached. As I don't wish to offend. But I find no sense or harmony in the stars. They are celestial giants beyond my understanding who do not know or care that I am here. It only saddens me how you uh, see them, Ingrid. It saddens me to think how Olivia will see them. Not as they are, but as reflections of herself. Nope, nothing on that sign. Okay. I'm sure this will be fine. And not lead to something spooky. <sighs> okay. Whew, okay. That's the ranger station. So, you're welcome. I just hope the ranger's on for the night. Yeah, and even if she's not, maybe there's a phone. I almost said that. That's funny. I almost said that. It's true. That was my other option I would have picked. Ooh, we get another view. I love a good view. Hello? Jesus, what happened here? Looks like, like, parentage ransacked the place. Or ha had a seance? God, I have no idea. It's kind of unsettling. I was going to say. Seeing the little ceremonies of people devoted to things inscrutable. Ranger, are you uh, in the bathroom? No? Crap. Uh, maybe if we'd come here instead of Charity Point, you know? No, we don't know when they left. This We could have been too late no matter what. There's broken glass over here. That guy, God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. Spectacular. Is there a phone? There has to be. We might be able to call out. Oh yeah, there should be one under something. I was gonna say that looks like some sort of weird like cult circle, but maybe it's just a rug. No, I'm pretty sure that's uh, some sort of culty circle of some sort. Maps with a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. I don't know if we'll find the park ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> we mentioned the bathroom, and now I have a lot of questions. Also a squirrel? What's this? Squirrel! Uh, did they stuff a squirrel? A little plaque says, Nutty the Squirrel. I'm sure there's a, a story there. Rip, Nutty, rip. Oh, 
phone bulletin board. Hey, found a key. Hey! There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome. That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but, you know, hopefully. Ooh, redial. I'll, uh, just redial the last number. That's a good okay. one. This is Shelly, Park Ranger at Oberon Station. Anyone um, there? We're not set up for assisted speech, if you're... You're a Park Ranger. We're at the, the, uh, the Turnstone Forest Station, and we need assistance. Oh, this is Turnstone? I, I just called there. I'm getting a few scattered reports of an electrical storm in your area. Riley, tell her what's going on. Fires have started. Have you seen anything? Mm. And is Local 43 on standby? Uh, no. No fires, no. Not that I've seen, anyway. Okay, good. There's also... How do I put this? There's been other notices of strange phenomena. Other... Uh, activity. But, uh, first, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Riley and Jacob. Hello? Um, Riley and Jacob were both, or were both residents. Jacob still is. So, Riley, there aren't any fires. That's good. What's not so good is that I've been getting a lot of other off-color calls tonight. And I've been hearing other things on my patrol. Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations. I'd just be like, ghosts. There's ghosts, the lady. Calls. It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Real interesting. Times two. So you'll help us out? I'll do what I can, but it's not like park rangers are exactly outfitted for trouble, gear-wise. Hell, we have to provide our own pens. I have to go check something out, but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Talk to you in a second. Hey. Hey. Nope, she won't. <laughs> Damn it, Shelly! Hey Riley, you there? Over. Oh, hello. Yeah, Shelly, I'm I'm here. Perfect, you sound clear. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with? Ghosts. Uh, where are you from? Uh, honestly, Shelly, just get out of town. It's very dangerous to be around here tonight. I don't know if we can stop it. Uh, over. I'm a big girl, Riley. I can handle myself just fine. All right, I have to leave, but I'll be in touch. You do the same. Over and out. I have to leave. I'm getting out of town. Yeah, she seems nice. If Ranger Shelly actually helps us, sure, very nice. Yeah, I don't know if she helped at all there. When you mentioned your dad said you were running around as a kid all the time, sorry, it just reminded me. How's uh, your dad doing? The last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were, uh, I was at the grocer, and he was before me in line. And the clerk asked about you or something. And, uh, your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something. Is there a story there? Or... No? Uh, it's just some dead soldier that died in some town in Dublin. Not much of a story. But no, that's, that's cool. He also, your dad, mentioned how proud he was that you... I guess you just enlisted, and he was proud of you following in his footsteps. I don't think it was bullcrap, for what it's worth. Hmm. I'm not going to answer anything there. Oh, he liked that. Okay. I was about to say, sometimes you just shut up. That's a life lesson, if anything. Down? Down? There we go. Cleared the other side, so I'm not too stressed about that. We're above the moon? I assume that's a reflection on the water. I keep thinking about what they could be doing what they could be trying to do. 
parentage, the cult, just with all this? You gotta figure, or at least I'm figuring, there's two possibilities. Either they're a bunch of underbaked human beings making underbaked life choices, just thinking this whole thing's a lark, without really measuring the consequences. You know? Well, Olivia at least seems pretty focused. I just feel like whatever plan they have is baked. She knows what she's doing, or at least why. Or whoever is telling her what to do. Or what if they're right? What if whatever they're trying to do is the right thing to do? I uh, hate to be getting in the way of our one true opportunity at eternal salvation. Well, we can't really wait around and see, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah I was about to say, like, mm. I'm also just trying to remind myself that I, too, was once a dumb asshole teenager who did dumb asshole teenager things. I'm trying to. Maybe not succeeding, but trying. There has never been a single teenager who was also not an asshole. It's, Bing. I don't know, biological law. It's a fact. Well, my clueless parents would attest to my being a very good kid in high school. They would, but even I have to admit that if someone had told me I could open a portal in the sky and make things better for myself, I'd have fallen for it. Probably. <sighs> Especially in this town. Well, sure, Jacob. I mean, what kid doesn't want to reach out and touch the void a little? See if it touches back, you know? Yeah, understandable. Trying to see if this was, like, a smooth move, or I just... I mean, I guess no matter what, we ended up at the same place, huh? I was hoping for a little bit of a glow. That's really beautiful. And incoming terror. <laughs> no. I have not I'm not falling for any of this. This calm, beautiful. That's gonna end up bad. That's gonna we're gonna walk across that at some point and get jumped. Waiting for it. Hey wait, there he is. Hey! Ah, damn it! Stop! Jacob, come on, wait! Jake, Jake, Jake! Oh, jeez. Will you come here? Don't, don't wait for me, just go! That's not what I meant to say at all, but here we are. Hey, Jacob, you there, buddy? I'll take that as a no. Why are we like this? Cool. Okay. Red Rover, Red Rover. Who wants to come over? Hello? Uh, who... Uh, who is speaking? Who, who? Are you an owl? Tag, tig, tiggy, tips, touch and go, and then you're it. If to play, just say okay. Okay, fine, whatever. If this, this is what you want. Just follow along. Sticks and stones can break my bones. And so can rocks, and so can blocks. Bloody and red, they'll kill me dead. No more night, no more light. Twenty. Nineteen. What? Eighteen. What? Warm. Seventeen. Arr, cool. Sixteen. Cold. Fifteen. What? Warm. Fourteen. Warmer still. Thirteen. Warmer. Heating up. Twelve. Hot. Ooh, hot. Eleven. Fire. Burning. Ten. Less warm. Hot. Nine. 
It's the... It's the light. The light, right? Correct! Deeper weeper, chimney sweeper. Had a wife but couldn't keep her. Had another and didn't love her. The body of the woman was found after neighbors complained about a strange smell emanating from the house every time a fire. <laughs> Smells good. Fifteen. What the shit? Down here, okay. Seven. Warm, even warmer. Six, hot. Five. Ooh, hot. The Burning. chimney. It's the chimney. It has to be. Correct. Here comes an old soldier from Botany Bay. What have you got to give him today? I'll give him a block. I'll give him a rock. I'll give him a grave. I'll give him a cave. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of little... This right here? Fire. Is there an opening here? The footprints almost look like they go into the wall. Winner! Hickory Dickory Dock. Who is that hiding behind the rock? Here we go, back in a cave. This should be fun. The Grindle Stone? Nope. Riley, this is only gonna end bad. Like it. What? Oh, oh. I'll miss feeding you. I'll miss when you sat on my lap. I'll miss when you would run up to me on the floor. When mom would put you on my bed. Uh, wait, where, where? And most of all, I'll just miss you being around. Goodbye, Lewis. You'll always be my favorite gecko in the world. So we're back in the future? I've... I, uh... I don't know what to do next. Mm, share a memory of Lewis. What happens next at a funeral? Well, everybody is different, but usually you say some nice words. Funny stories, favorite memories, any you want to tell Lewis? 
Well, I think my favorite memory is when you threw up on Mom's sandals. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You'd just gone to the store. Nah, they were too small for my gorilla feet anyway. Little green guy did me a favor. That's not what you said when it happened. I'm going to miss him so much. I'm really gonna miss Who? You don't need to hug me. It's fine. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, okay. Whatever you want. Ugh, he's moving so slowly. I know I can't punch every problem, but I really wish he was going faster. I hope I die before you do. I don't want to see you like that. Please don't die before I do. Get out of tomorrow. Just be here, kiddo. Just be here. That's some good advice. I... I don't like seeing him alone. I... Can't we... Isn't there a way to get him back? I don't like seeing him out there. Maybe we... Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Sweetheart, I know it's hard right now, but... No, I want to be with him. I don't want him to be alone. Hey, kiddo, come on. You want to be with him? Wouldn't you miss me? Rex? Damn it! Ugh! Damn it! Hey, what are you doing? I don't want to see him. I don't want to... Mom? Riley? 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 I was put in another time, I think. In the future, there was a kid there. He kept calling me his mom. His name's Rex. Oh, wow. Uh, what was he like? He was sad, I guess. A memory or a time was sad, but he was sad in a way that was bigger than the moment. It's hard to explain. Never mind, honestly. Let's just... Yeah, never mind. Okay. He's... Well, Charlie got away, sorry to say. And he took off over the hill, and I thought I was already getting too ahead so of myself. So who's the show kid? <laughs> so, came back. Oh, thanks for trying, anyway. I appreciate the effort. Trust me, my lungs do not. The path he was on funnels back to Tatiga Falls. So, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll still be there. Come on, let's hit the road. Yo, I've, I played a game with, like, some dead child who took me to a shoe, I think. And then I saw someone on a beach. Oh, sorry, I forgot to kick the rope down earlier. I was, let's call it focused. Yeah, that's diplomatic enough. Hold on, man. We're going back over here, dude. I'm going to go down real quick. So, yeah, there was a fireplace over here. We go back in and look at the... There's no cave now? Oh, wait. No, there's a cave. Okay. I thought the cave had vanished. I was going to flip out. There's nothing here. Yeah, into the caves. Hey, come, come to the caves with me, pal. I want to go look at a weird shoe. If it exists. And isn't just in my head. Oh no, 
that's there. It's evidence of ghosts, right? I'm gonna assume that bow bow is good. <laughs> and not like a bow bow, you've doomed all of society. Civilization. He's trying. He needs a hand up, and I'm like, bro, I'm out. Okay. I had to go back and get him, apparently. Boo, boo. You saved a man from being trapped in a cave. Jumps. Okay, so we're one AM. The up above is a nothing up above, so we're just there's it looks like there's one path. Yeah, I can't get up there. This there is he is. Son of a god, these got you. Hey, get back here. Oh my hey. god, Jacob. Hey, kid, we need to talk to you, okay? Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, take a little tumble there, pal. Get up. Yeah, okay, asshole. You got me. What the hell do you think's gonna happen now, huh? You have no idea what you're messing with. The powers that they've given us? What? You wanna take a swing at me? Take a free shot, gingerbread. I got all night. I won't even move. Land a solid one, right there. Okay, okay, back up, Jacob. Take a couple steps back. We got him. You ain't He's got here. anything, girly. You don't have anything. Do you even know how lost you are out here? Stop yapping. A final warning. Ooh. You're just lucky I missed the step. Don't you, don't you understand that whatever you're messing with it's destroying everything. Reality. It's it's wrecking reality, literally. Maybe reality deserves to be wrecked. What we're doing tonight, it's going to change our lives. Change everything. Hand over the stuff you stole from the ranger station. Oh, this stuff? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that was a joke. Get it? Hmm, <laughs> funny. I know, right? That's it. I've had enough of this, this, whatever this is. I swear to God, if you don't start talking some sense right now, you're gonna get your mouth smacked off your goddamn face. Hey, whoa, you understand? I don't speak. Okay, all right. Enough, Jacob. No, Riley. You don't know how much him and his little twerp patrol have screwed with me over the years. Oh, what? Friggin' pranks? They're not pranks to me. God, I'm sorry. You're acting like a total psycho right now. Me? You joined up with the crazy cult starting a cosmic fire you can't put out. Now ring your useless friends and call it all off, or the police will find your body in the river. Whoa! I'm not in charge. You better think of a way to get in charge. And if you tell us something useful, this can all be over fast. <sighs> Whatever. Who is she, anyway? Don't worry about her. Actually, don't even look at her. I'm a friend. Now, if I'm your friend, that's largely up to you. What's going on? It's like a switch flipped and we're living in a surrealist nightmare. And I bet all the money in my pocket, it's completely your fault, so what's going on? We're making things right. That's what's going on. And tonight's the only night we can do it. You want more? Because that's about as simple as I can make it. Yeah, we need more. That's not going to cut it. Yeah. Well, you can forget it. I'm not getting into it. I can't. I can't let her down. I just can't, okay? And besides, I need them to help me too. And I'm not about to start messing with that. Not for you. No way. You need whose help? What's going on here? I, 
Wait, who's... <laughs> Whoa, uh... Is this... Kid? Uh, your eyes? Uh, he's... It's like he's sleepwalking. I don't know. I, this is nuts. <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah, is he at the bridge? Hey, kid, don't. Oh my god. What should we do? We can't just. We should them. be able to. Amazing. My future? What, what does that mean? This has been a test of the emergency broadcast system. Stay tuned for further instructions. Is he? Oh, man. Oh, okay, he's... There's, there's no blood. Nothing's shattered. I think this is sleep. I'm not like unconscious, but like sleeping. I mean, that's good, right? Hey, yeah, he's okay, great. But we need to plant the transmitter now. Uh, hey, yeah. yeah. You're right, you're right. Yikes, sorry, Charlie, that looked rough. Both the uh, falling and everything before it. I'm sorry, but back to the, uh, the, the stealing our future stuff. I mean, should we be doing like anything about that how do you uh, want to handle that any uh any thoughts nothing's changed jacob it's the same as it's been we plant the transmitters we stop those kids we stop the ghosts we go home and have a shower roger <laughs> ah the okay, jesse crap, cox way find a place for it do what you gotta do go home i ain't got time for that ghosts just so you know it's never gonna hit Worry about it. I know you weren't gonna actually do anything. Okay, just checking. I'm out of practice playing back now, so uh, it's a little south. Won't happen again. Is there not a? Y'all ain't got any letters down here? Nobody cares. Oh, there's a letter right here. A J. of green. What did Maggie say? I saw it. You doubted me, but I saw it. A flash of green right at sunrise. Blink and you'd miss it. Well, I didn't blink. Next time I'm waking you up to watch it with me. You've been warned. Don't worry, I'll have coffee made.
can't read the the awesome someone spray paint couscous is that what that says someone went real hard on the couscous I guess that's it Plant this thing. That'll be two down, one to go. There's a giant portal to the stars. And I can't mess with that, huh? Place that transmitter here. I think it's our best bet. It's the highest point in the area. Well, that we can get to at least. Fingers and thumbs crossed. And toes for good measure. All right, we're back on this craziness. got a vision from the future we catch nothing and get takeout for dinner i guess we gotta go home don't want to piss off the uh uh-oh you're usually very the ends justify the means so i'm surprised we didn't bring dynamite we're not catching anything anyway not if we don't use live bait the guy at the store said so Remember? Uh, you, you don't want that. You've never cleaned earthworm guts up from under your fingernails? I think you know the answer to that is no. Mm, this is taking so long. Let's just go to seafood sandwich. Please? I'm trying to be here. I should have just kept that stupid penny. Can we leave? Please, I'll share my hush puppies. I'll share a hush puppy. You are young, and life is long, and there is time to kill today. And then one day, you find ten years have got behind you. Get out. This waiting, this is what it's all about. Waiting is what makes this, makes everything worthwhile. Well. It can also still suck. Which it does. Oh, you owe me so much pizza after this. Hey! Check it out! I, I, I think I got one! Almost got him. Oh, can we fry him? Is that a thing? I want to eat him tonight. How about we bake it? Maybe some salad too? Oh, okay, sure. I'll eat my own barf. You got it. Mm, it's dead. Mom? 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 Find something to hide under. What? Jacob!
Riley. Oh my god. What the hell? Were you were you buried alive too? And like not in dirt, but in bugs? Hey, it's okay, man. What? Take a second. I okay, I'm trying to take it. Hmm. I would take all the seconds, but I just want to get out of here. Charlie must have left. Or I, I don't know what. I don't care. Let's just let's just go. What about finding Charlie? Jesus, we chased the kid halfway through the freaking county. Yeah, and we found him, and then, you know, nightmare. So seriously, screw Charlie, screw this waterfall, screw everything. We planted the transmitter. We're done here. We're leaving here. Uh, oh man, that's brutal. I keep seeing this, like, this kid. And he knows me, and yeah. You're not getting that? No. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing, but I'm apologizing. Sorry. Where did Charlie go? Actually, uh, sorry, kid, but you are not priority right now. Hope you're safe, though. He got sucked into outer space. Hey, Evelyn. The second transmitter is planted. Any news? Riley? Hey, sorry. I'm the last one here. The rest decided to hike back to the hotel. One too many calls from weird voices, I think. Finally pushed Jim out the door. All right, let me look at these readings. Okay, this is... Oh, how? So, wave particles in water move perpendicularly to the wave's direction of travel. And airwaves oscillate in the same direction. Well, obviously. These frequencies are moving in every direction. That's not normal. Or possible. Uh, so what does that mean? Over. It means things aren't right. No the shit. The rate of decay on these, it's... This is unbelievable. Oh, crap, my mom is calling me. Crap. I haven't heard from my sister yet. She, she's gonna ask if I talk to her. I'm getting really worried, but my mom's gonna flip. Uh, crap. I don't know what to do. The truth is worth it, Evelyn. If only because if something did happen, it's a lot better to have been upfront about it from the beginning. Over. Yeah. Sorry, Riley. I have to take this. I'm still here for you whenever you need to chat. Over and out. Anyone else available? Ooh. Ooh. How's the weather, Nick? How's the water? is that possible? You took my line. All I know is I'm sailing through it smoothly. So, hey, gift horse, mouth. The drop did splash its way up, though. Cut me right on the eyelid. Put gauze on it. Nothing like blood on the pupil to wake you right up. <laughs> You're a proper pirate now. Let's find you a parrot. Maybe some scurvy for kicks. I'll name it Riley if I do. No floating. Appreciate the check-in. Keep your eyelids safe, kid. Over and out. Uh-oh. Uh, Nick, it just rained fish. Hey, Nick, it was just, uh... Really is no way to say this than to say it. It was just raining fish? You ever run across that? Uh, in Sunday school lessons? But that was frogs, to be fair. Did you save any for dinner? When life gives you lemons, saute them. Over. You know, I never even considered. He who hesitates is hungry. No matter what they tell you on your nine o'clock local, if weather is anything, it's unpredictable. So yes, trout falling from the sky ain't exactly expected. But so long as you keep expecting the unexpected, you should be right as rain. Scaly rain sometimes, but still. Waves ahead. Call me later, champ. Over and out. I don't know if this is a real story, but I seem to recall reading about a whale. A whale? I think it was a whale. It's dead body found in the middle of a forest. It might have been the Amazon. I'm not sure. But I think they said that it was because a hurricane picked it up out of the water and flung it. 
into the Amazon? So, I mean, I guess anything's possible. I am. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm here. Um, over. I've been getting calls from local residents uh, concerning sightings, I guess. Yeah? People reporting seeing a, what I would assume is a sort of bioluminescence out in the storm. They're not talking about the situation above Edwards Island. This is something else, but it's hard to get a visual from my station, even with the binoculars. Have you seen anything like glowing objects? Of varied sizes. Maybe even someone with a glow in the dark backpack? Uh, they could be talking about other uh, portals. And when I say portal, I mean literally a portal. It's a triangle cut in the sky. There's uh, more than one. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to investigate, and it'll take me probably half an hour. Just wanted you to know. You can still contact me if you have any questions. Mm, okay. Uh, well, keep a lookout for any creepy people in masks running around. They're, uh, kind of the bad guys here. Okay, good to know. I'll see if I see anybody. I'll check back in with you, whether or not I see anything. Over and out. Pretty- oh. Shelly? How do we get back? Hey, Shelly, we're at Tatiga Falls. How do we get back to, you know, humanity? Aw, oh, man. Why would you want to? I love that place. Uh, it's so it's soothing. Pretty. That is really pretty. I'd make a screensaver out of it. Are those still a thing? Unless you got gills, just you know, move away from the water. Nothing past the waterfall except mud and beehives. Nothing civilized. Get back on the path, and you'll be back among your fellow man in no time. But come on, take a second, enjoy the view. Be you know natural. Someday that waterfall will be a gas station. Taste the mist while you can. Over and out. I, I did. Ooh, we can just catch up with her. Okay. Hey. Shelly, you ever heard of parentage? Oh, oh, Lord. God, yes. I have heard of the effing parentage. Sorry. On duty. Try to monitor the language. Number of times I've had to deal with their naked forest dancing ceremonies. It's like, okay, wanna dance naked? Cool. That's why God invented backyards. Over. Sounds harmless, if annoying. I mean, look, they clean up after themselves. That's better than a lot of park visitors. But still, there was this one member, though. She died a few years back. I don't know. Wasn't so hippy dippy. More a scary hair. There we go. How so? She hated parentage more than me, but she was still a member. Just some bog standard old lady complaining about how the old ways were dying out. Kids these days, the usual tap dance. I had to drive her back home once after she twisted her ankle during one of their naked dance offs. The story she told. That's when it started to get scary. Super horrific? I'm talking the gritty reboot of the Inquisition. Apparently, its founders were a lot less into naked dancing. And a lot more into fire and bodies. But pin in that, I gotta do a quick walk around. What? what? Sleeping skunks in this area, and they're not fond of talking alarm clocks. Check back later. Over and out. Sorry, I got stuff to do. I can't explain the crazy mystery. Oh, here we go. Never mind, I can. Hey, Shelly, I wanna know more about parentage. Oh, hey, Riley. I, I just finished the skunk spill. Okay, parentage. I mean, this is secondhand off someone who smelled like they were carved from gin, but still. So I guess parentage goes back like centuries, and a good few of them. There was this freak lightning storm once over Edwards Island, just out of nowhere. This was right in the middle of a wicked drought, so as soon as lightning touched ground, everything caught on fire. And every one. Hundreds of skeletons. At least, that they were able to count. Hard to get a proper number out of Ash. Over. Uh, so someone decided to make a religion out of this? Well, this is where it goes from bananas to nuts, depending on your definitions. Apparently, during that fire, this, like, thing showed up in the sky. Like this, I don't know, shape. The woman was mighty slurry at this point. Something 
opened in the sky and showed paradise on the other side, while the earth below it was an actual burning hell. A triangle, or... I don't know, she was just shy of intelligible. Over. Heck of a tall tale. I was captivated. I mean, once I got past the belching every other sentence. A vision of paradise. But just that, there and gone. An open and shut door. Those who survived called that vision Planet Shine. And decided to form a group to recreate it. And thus, parentage was born. With ash on their tongues. Over. How'd they get that name? Search me on that one. My mom is, like, weirdly obsessed with Frankenstein, so... People are freaks, you know? The old lady told me that for, like, years... I get Shelly now. They tried to recreate that night. As best they could. So, no lightning, but... Plenty of fire. And... Plenty of bodies. For years. Over. Did anyone try to stop them? I'm sure they tried, and I'm sure they were set on fire. The long and short of it, it never happened again. The shape in the sky, I mean. Surprise, surprise. People dropped out, membership went kaput, the thing, uh, ran its course. A couple of diehards, but no more, you know, bodies. No more sacrifices. No more ash. Over. Well, I mean, you say that, but what about the old lady? Clearly, not everyone changed their minds. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. I don't know. There are people who think indoor plumbing is a mortal sin, so... You're always gonna find one hanger-on, I guess. Seems colder out tonight. But their history. The, you know, the corpses. Lost to the ages. Well, except for one slurring grandmother in a back seat. Anyway, don't believe everything you read. I'm getting a call, so see you when I hear you. Over and out. So I'm trying to figure out if the portals in the sky have always existed much longer than before the submarine test. I made the submarine test like locked into that thing that it always existed. Or if it's just coincidence and uh, that the shape is similar to the one from the test that's currently happening. And so Olivia thinks like, oh, this is going to lead me to paradise. But really, she's just being manipulated uh, by the others on that are trapped there um, because it's so similar. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense what I just said? Graffiti. Oh, here we go. Sheesh, people really love tagging everything up here. Oh, that. Yeah, that's been here a while, though. Yeah, like when my dad was a kid, he had his photo taken, and this was in the picture. Something about it being old just makes it more uh, acceptable for some reason. Couscous. There's actually a place in my hometown where there was a bike path, and then there was this weird, like, sewer outlet that was no longer in use, and it looked very similar to this. It was called Steel Buffalo. That's what the kids called it. And, uh, uh, it was all spray painted up and like the cool kids would go down there to smoke and, uh, everyone who ran on the bike path would just see them there. Like it wasn't a secret. There'd be like 14 year olds smoking and like the teachers would run by and be like, mm -mm 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 -mm. it was so bizarre. Like everyone's like, we're the coolest. Was I one of those cool kids? No, I never smoked in high school, despite what my parents constantly thought. I did have friends who smoked, but I didn't, I didn't smoke. My parents were like, were you smoking? Like, no, I can't afford a, like oh, a so cookie. A, a house, a cabin, a pack of cigarettes. The 30s, but a passing transient accidentally burned it down when failing to extinguish his cigarette. Yikes, only you can prevent forest fires, kids. Hmm, it's interesting, didn't know that. Speaking of. Yeah, I couldn't even get one of those, like, uh, hostess cookies. I didn't even have money for that. Charlie, are you... are you oh. there? Over. Oh. Violet? Well, hey, Riley, hold up a second. 
Listen to this. I'm, I don't know what happened, but I ran into that lady in Gingerbread. Jacob, he is such a dick. He almost attacked me over some stupid stolen parts. Oh, really? She, actually her and that guy helped me out a little. I'm heading to the church now. Over. Stop talking on open air, shut up! Wait, 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 but is the, is the plan to still run the radio station and kill their transmitter array? Over. Shut up, seriously! There is no plan. But there is no plan! Bye, over and out. Um, did they say something about killing our transmitter field? So, is that true? What they were saying, that they can somehow disrupt our transmitters? Um, technically. They mentioned a radio station. If they can hijack the frequency, or broadcast the station's signal in the right way, yeah, it, it could smother our array. Which, uh, isn't good. Obviously. Okay, but what would that have to do with the church? That's where they said they're going, right? They're talking about... Th they have to be talking about the community center. That group, Parentage, it took over the lease. And sometimes they run out the space, but Parentage puts out a weekly address. It's like public access, but worse. Super strange stuff. I, I think they're going to use whatever equipment they have to try and screw up our night. Okay. Which would be... You know, you know, if we can get to their equipment and turn it off, or just break it first, I mean, they're not there yet. Olivia's friends screwed up. I know it sounds caveman, but I think it's the only option we have. Hey, if that's the only plan, then fine. We don't really have a lot of time to waffle. <sighs> True. Speaking of waffles. Okay. But also... Also this guy looking for Luke Skywalker right now. And that is my, that's me reenacting probe droid. Joining us, the topic for the next 30 minutes is and continues to be my birthday. Not birthdays, not your birthday, mine. It was just last week. And you know who didn't show up? Mother fing Chris Robin. Where the fuck were you, Chris? Tennis season's over. Practice ain't happening. Just joking. The real topic of this segment is the new fing awesome bleeper we got for the studio. Mr. Wright was a little apprehensive, thinking the very existence of it would encourage more verbal mistakes. But I disagree. I think it's a great f***ing addition to our radio program. But it's a question for us, you know. Do life preservers make people act more recklessly, knowing they have a bit of a safety net? Do guns kill people, or do sensor buttons only prevent happy accidents? Important questions for another <laughs> Hey, Nick. Nick, it's Riley. You didn't sink, right? Hey there. Still floating. I appreciate the checkup. Water took a turn, though. But not a friendly one. We're not quite in Charlie Foxtrot territory, but, you know, if the weather gets worse, I can still handle it, but... Hopefully I'm the only idiot tooling around out here. Air Force? I'm guessing... Army? Could I slow down? Use simpler words? <laughs> only teasing. I have nothing but admiration for the grunts. That means I like you, in case admiration has too many syllables. Couldn't speak for the current state of the service, but when I was your age, everyone was itching for the fastest, shiniest bird in the coop. Everyone wanted to fly. Everyone. I wanted to explore. I wanted the shuttle. Let the flyboys have their pissing contest. I had my eyes elsewhere. Well, 
Yeah, which kid didn't want to be an astronaut growing up? Over. Yeah, never grew out of it. Some, most, might argue I still haven't. But I was too tall, you see. They camp astronauts at six foot four. I'm over by a single inch. Genetics. What you gonna do? Not like I could cut my feet off. Though the thought had occurred. That's really sad. I mean, come on, surely they could extend the ceiling, right? Now, they didn't have room to fart in that shoebox, I can't blame them. Never quite shook the bug to, you know, stand somewhere no one else ever had. That's why I bought the boat. So far, all I've found is seaweed and styrofoam. Anyway, thanks for the check-in. I'm heading further out, see if I can get a better view of it all. Reach out when you can, make sure I haven't drowned. Over and out. Yeah. Come in, Maria, come in. Do you know anything about parentage? I'm kind of standing in their epicenter right now and could use some guidance. Over. Hey! Some guy called in asking for dating advice and then just asked me a bunch of questions about my feet. I didn't really get it, but anyways. Oh, sorry. Parentage. Yeah, don't know a thing. Only heard what everyone's heard. They're super weird, do seances in the woods. And it was started by Olivia's dead parents. The ones in the plane crash. Watch out for them, though. Seriously. They seem odd. Ugh! That guy is calling again? Sorry, I gotta hop off and trace the number. I think it might be Brad's older brother playing a prank. You don't know Brad. Never mind. Over and out. Maria. You're literal trouble. Hey, uh, Evelyn, are you around? Over. Hey, Riley, what's up? Mm. Where are we with the transmitters? Over. Oh. Hey, I, I just wanted to let you know that I'm going on a slight um, detour here. It, we need to head to this uh, church, sort of. It's, it's for a religion, I guess, called Parentage. <sighs> Long story short, we need to disrupt the radio equipment before it cancels out our transmitter coverage. So I, I'll be a little longer. Over. Oh, uh, okay. God, if it's not one thing, it's the other. Well, thanks for letting me know. I'll tell Leslie. All right, good luck. Talk to you later. Over and out. Hey, Shelly, wh what do you know about the beach out here? The water never gets warm enough, and the sand is extra rocky. Over. Anything, you know, salacious ever happen out here? a bike washed up once though it's equally possible someone just uh just left their bike there there was a big push in like the 20s i think to keep kids away hidden caves and tunnels and all that kids love crawling right into those and hate when they can't crawl back out yeah, speaking of which apparently it was an epidemic then rock slides broken ankles in the dark bad luck they banned all children eventually and they stayed away ever since over Wow, do the wonders ever cease? Cold, uncomfortable, and with a creepy history. Pack your sunglasses. Like most beaches in this state, pretty to look at. But sucks if you're looking for that classic bikini and bellini fun in the sun experience. But hey, at least we save on sunscreen. Over and out. Yeah, what about the random shoe I found? Is that going to be a thing? We're not going to talk about that random shoe? You know, when I first heard about the frequencies, the, the weird radio chatter, I thought, man, Maggie, really onto something. Way before any of the rest of us was. And this is weird, I know, but I couldn't help but think about how I'll be looked at later by anyone who knew me. The, the, the lonely old hermit who was right once. I just don't want my life to be defined by inertia. If that makes sense. Just don't let it be. Not for yourself. And who cares what anyone else thinks about how you chose to spend your days? They were yours. I have visions of me in the future. Different dogs, different shows on the TV. But I haven't left. I haven't done anything. I don't talk to my brother in New York really ever, and I think it's because he feels bad for me. I just hope he's wrong to feel that way. 
Well, you're sure as hell doing a lot tonight. Yeah. Kamina would probably be consumed with time ghosts if you hadn't been around to help stop yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks, Riley. Yeah. I'll you on the Christmas card I'll send him this year. There we go. Mm, don't feel bad, Kenneth. I get the feeling Maggie didn't meet anyone for lunch. Kenneth, I think you should believe your daughter. Let her help you. Ooh. As you help her learn how to walk, how to dress, how to eat, how to think, let it be her turn. As for me, no, I never had kids, and it was the right choice. Though I guess I would have to believe that, now that it's an impossibility. I don't know, I... Excuse me. I do know I would have ruined them. I'm sorry we never met up for that soup and conversation. It's getting harder and harder for me to leave my house, though not due to any physical limitations, really. My habits have formed such cavernous grooves. I cannot seem to climb my way out. Take care, Kenneth. Make friends in your new home and new city. Tell your grandchildren who you were and listen to their stories. They're better than ours. Damn. Seeing her kind of, or I guess reading about her kind of slowly falling apart is pretty rough. Hey, Jesse, you want to... I just wanted to be a weirdo and say thanks for many, many years of stuff to watch. Been lurking around since Cata Days. Well, thank you. Thank you for giving me your time and hanging out. Honestly, if that's weird, I prefer it. Okay. I'm ready for something to happen here. It's such a good locale that if I don't get some sort of scare damn I guess the devs were like it's too good of a locale we're not gonna ruin it we're not ruining it with nonsense I'm here for it oh by the way collectibles yes so JB's done one Ingrid White is missing, and then this thing. Whatever the hell this is. So, map-wise, Charlie equals dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I heard. Okay, so we need to go across the way, down here. We've gotten all the letters that could be here, unless there's a letter at the lighthouse, but I imagine there's probably something over here. So we're going back to where we started. Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Over. Riley, hi. So, I didn't find anything on my spot check outside. I scoured the north woods for a bit before heading back due to the weather. But when I made it back to the station, I had this message on my answering machine. Here, I'll play it for you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a very funny comedian. I know funny. I have funny on speed dial. That was not funny. Two cannibals are eating a clown. One says to the other, does this taste funny to you? <laughs> Riley. Like, maybe one of those people you mentioned. Or if you've seen anybody else around. Hmm, I don't know, but I'll see what I can find out. Okay, sounds good. Thanks. Call me if you need anything, or, uh, see anything. Over and out. Cool. So cool. So cool. What's the path out of here? Uh, I need to go up and out. 
so cool. Just the coolest. Gonna just go now. Creepy radio voice. Wow. Oh wait, nope, that's the ranger station. Did I really just goof on that? Jesse. Jesse, you goober. This is the other. Thank you, decadent. That means that means a lot. I will keep being awesome. <laughs> Creepy sound effects and music. I just, I just thought maybe Maria would be a good person to call. You know? Yeah, after all that, with her friends. Uh, yeah, that might be a good idea. <laughs> you almost jump scared me, bro. I want to let you know that. Oh, hey! Uh, we'll talk to Nick in a sec. Hey, Maria. Are you there? Over. Hey, hi. Yes, I'm here. Hey, sorry. I, I took some rats up by and he had some, some vegetables. Some might call them herbs. And so I'm going a little under the speed limit right now. But anyways, I'm here. How can I help you, Riley? You always call at the perfect time. Right when I'm about to sit on the toilet. That is right when you decide to call. And thank you for this opportunity to rant, because I have something on my mind. Oh? Can I be honest? Yes. Can I speak honestly? Yes. Olivia sucks. Charlie has a thing for her, God knows why, and Violet will do anything she says. So, look, here's... help me out. Here's my problem. Charlie's a great guy. How do I get him to stop looking at Olivia and start seeing me? Hmm. This is a serious question. Over? You want my advice? Just ask him out. If you want to try and make something out of it, start. Over. That's... Yeah, ask him out. I forgot I'm talking to a 50-year-old. Thanks. Also, why is that red light on? Oh, crap. I'm on. Talk to you later, Rai. <laughs> right, right. Because why, why be an adult when you can forget that they're all teens? Why act like an adult when they're all in high school and there's no way? That'd be, that'd be too stupid. You can definitely tell that I wanted just like. I saw that problem. I was like, if you like him, ask him out. That's stupid. Why not? She's like, my social standing in the class, and I'd have to see him every day in school. I'm just like, oh right. All right. What is the right path here? Just down and over, huh? All right. Was it too fast? Nick, what's now? You tell me. How's your snowstorm? 
Because mine is... Let's start with unexpected. Snow? Where are you? <laughs> well, I thought I knew. And then it started snowing. And thus our story brings us to the present. Only, well, I'm, I'm not sure what color we'd call this snow. Red seems so common. Crimson might be better. Rust, maybe. Tastes like blood, though. Copper? Maybe we go with blood. Iron? Sure tastes similar. Sure does. Oh my good god. Do not eat that. Not trying to. But a squall like this, a flake or two is bound to clear the lips. Yep. Let's go with blood. That taste is unmistakable. Stay warm, kiddo. Over and out. The shit? 